Kelly was born into a wealthy family. Her parents owned a construction company. Because Kelly was an only child, her father and mother tried to involve her in the family business from an early age. But she had no entrepreneurial spirit. Instead, she had a real talent and a love for languages. She spoke Spanish, German, Italian, and even Chinese. That's why she became a foreign language teacher at a private school. Kelly could have not worked and lived for her pleasure because she had company shares and received good dividends. But her pleasure was in teaching languages, and soon she met Michael. He was a French teacher, while she taught Chinese and German. All their colleagues thought they were the perfect couple. The relationship between them developed quickly. Kelly fell in love so much that she wished to be with Michael 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Three weeks after their first kiss, Michael proposed moving in together. Kelly agreed with pleasure and invited Michael to move in with her, since he was renting an apartment and she was living in her own place, which had been given to her by her wealthy parents. So the couple began their life together. One weekend, the couple went out for a family dinner. Kelly's parents were excited to meet Michael because finally, at her 28 years old, their daughter had found a good man. After a weekend at her parents' house, Michael and Kelly continued to live as before. They went to work together, they went for walks together, and Michael constantly gave Kelly nice signs of attention, like flowers or her favourite sweets. Kelly thought Michael was the perfect man, because he rarely saw his friends, didn't drink or smoke, and didn't play computer games. A month after meeting him, Michael made a date to an expensive restaurant where he proposed to Kelly. But the woman was not ready for it. Trying not to offend Michael, she said that she loved him very much, but they had not even been living together for six months, and it was very early for an engagement. Michael was very upset and immediately asked the waiter for the bill. The rest of the evening he tried not to talk to Kelly, and slept on the couch separately. But the next morning, Michael started acting as he had before. However, a few days later, Kelly found out about his real intentions towards her. It was around midnight, and they were lying in bed talking. Michael asked when Kelly would be ready to get married, because he had serious plans for her. He wanted a family and children. When Kelly replied that a year from now, the man smiled, kissed her, and went to take a shower. Suddenly, Michael's phone vibrated, and a text message appeared. Kelly had never picked up his phone or peeked at it, but at that very moment, she wondered who was texting her lover at night. She had seen the password to his phone many times, and knew it by heart, so it wasn't hard to unlock it. What she had read was not meant for her eyes. In the text message, Michael bragged that he had found a rich fool and was already living in her posh apartment, that he had already met her parents and was about to persuade her to marry him. Michael also wrote in one of the messages that once he would be allowed into the family business, he would make some decent money and quit his boring teaching job. Kelly was disgusted to read this, but when she flipped through the messages, she found even more horrible messages that wounded her in her heart. Michael wrote that he had met an ugly Chinese teacher. However, she was wealthy and he decided to woo her. Only now Kelly understood why Michael was in such a hurry to move in with her, meet her parents and get married. Everything came together like a puzzle and Kelly decided to teach him a lesson. The next day was a working day for both of them. Kelly said she wasn't feeling well and stayed home. While the handyman was changing the door locks, she gathered all of her boyfriend's things. When Michael returned home, he saw several bags of his belongings standing by the door. He tried to use his old key to get inside, but it was useless. Then he started knocking and ringing and it wasn't until an hour later that he finally left. Michael visited her every day after work for a week. 
He was knocking on her apartment, calling from unknown numbers. After a week, Kelly returned to work and started acting like nothing had happened. Michael tried to talk to her, but the woman told him that she had found another man who was smarter and richer than Michael, so she decided to break up with him. Michael was shocked. To humiliate him even more, Kelly lied to him that she never had feelings for him, but was just using him as a toy. Of course, it was a lie. Working at the school with Michael was difficult. Kelly had no intention of quitting. She continued to do the job she enjoyed, as well as showing her happiness and well-being. After a month, Michael quit on his own. Ten years passed. With her father's help, Kelly opened her own language school for children. She was now both an entrepreneur and a teacher. She also met another French teacher, whom she finally married and became a happy wife and mother.